Orange DB Deuce Chestnut is with us this week as we get you ready for the Qs and Virginia Tech back at the Dome at last year. And Deuce coming off a tough loss to Pittsburgh. How do you feel the team has kind of responded here in practice getting ready for Vatek? Uh, I think we responded well. You know, Fran's always tough on us about uh, just how we respond, especially uh, Coach E. It's always like our mentality is how we respond. No matter how the game goes or how the week goes, we just got to uh, respond and do better. What about just getting a chance to be back in the dome here and, and back to a normal routine? That's got to feel good, right? Oh, yeah, definitely feel good. So, like, it's been a while just to uh, play back in front of the crowd. So, to get that energy back is going to be great for us. How has it been playing for Coach Brown this year? I know you go back with him a while, I'm guessing, because of the Camden ties and it seemed like he was kind of the perfect coach for you to come back to Syracuse. But right. how's it been now that he is your head coach? Uh, it's been intense. You know, he's always high energy. He always wants the best for us, so he's always going to be yelling. So it's just definitely been intense. And, you know, even though we were down 31, you know, he's right in our ear like, come on, we still got this. And, like, you know, a lot of the players still believe in that and we still believe in him. So we're going to be going hard for him. Yeah, he's a guy that doesn't strike me as someone that's ever going to quit out uh, there. <laughs> no, nah, not at all, especially when you're from Camden, we don't do no quitting. Nah. Yeah, and Elijah Robinson is from Camden as well. Did you know him at all prior to kind of coming back to Syracuse, and what's your relationship like with him? Oh, yeah, Camden's a small city, so you kind of, like, know everybody that kind of, like, make it out and stuff like that. So I kind of knew Coach E since I was in high school, and even, like, a little before that, like, you hear about the old heads and stuff like that. So we always had a great relationship. You know, we didn't connect much when I was in high school, but when we got here and stuff like that, we connected more just based off our ties and stuff like that. So just to be from Camden is kind of, like, a, a big thing for us where we're from. Yeah, it's got to be cool for you. I know you go way back with Kyle McCord, Little League days, right? And who else was on that uh, Little League team with you guys? On my, on my Little League team, it was Dennis. Uh, who else was on this team? Dennis Jaquez, yeah, right? Dennis Jaquez, yeah. yeah. And then most of us play like seven on seven together, like Fidel, Cinco, BJ, and stuff like that. So, yeah, a lot of jersey ties. Yeah, what do you remember about Little League QB Kyle McCord? Shoot, the same Kyle McCord y'all see now is the same Kyle McCord we seen in the fifth, sixth grade. Like, he was like 10, 11 years old, bombing it for almost 50 yards. So we kind of already knew what Kyle was going to be when he grew up. How awesome is it battling against him and all these great wide receivers as well in practice? I'm sure that kind of makes you guys as a defensive backfield get better. Yeah, it's a healthy competition. You know, we always talk in trash. That's one thing, like, we can always do is, like, it's probably kind of like a Coach Fran thing. He always got us talking and competing. So, like, that's all we do is compete against each other in practice. Who's the number one guy you're competing with right now in the wide receiver core? I know you're safety now, so right, it's a little right. different, right? Right, yeah. So I probably mostly go – I go against OG and uh, Trevor a lot in the slot. So that's who I go against the most. Okay. How's that change been going to safety for you? And I know Coach Brown was kind of ahead of that and, and said he wanted you to come back and play safety. He's a, a great mind for the defensive backfield right, right, for right. sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's the best DB coach. So whenever he tells you something, you know, you got to listen. So when he told me, like, he wanted, to make, wanted me to make the transition from say, uh, corner to safety, I was okay with it because I know it's like he wants the best for me. And it's like I've always been that versatile DB. As in, uh, since I was in Little League, you could say, uh, everybody always, like, called me the honey badger. So it's like kind of <laughs> something I try to live up to by playing everywhere the coach needs me. So. It's been an easy transition for me. You talk about Fran is intense, and you were here before with a different coaching staff. Then you went to LSU, great program. Everyone says this is the hardest they've ever practiced. Is is that true with Fran, and how does it compare to kind of previous regimes and coaching staffs you've been under? Uh, it's just no relaxing with Coach Fran. Like, he just <laughs> going 100 every single second. It's, it's kind of good for us. This is what we need, you know, just to keep pushing us, keeping us, uh, just to make us stronger as a team, even individually. So he's always going to be pushing us, and that's what we love. Does that give you confidence that this time around it's going to be different? I know you've gotten off to good starts with Syracuse in the past, and fans are bringing up, oh, here, here's November again. Right. But this time around it is different, right, when you're practicing like that? Right, right, right. Uh, definitely different. Like, you know, you just, this is like the time where you're trying to prove yourself to the rest of the, uh, to the, rest of the uh, conference and everything else that you're really who you say you are. So we're going to be working extra hard to show everybody that we're still that Syracuse team that we believe we are. Yeah. Lastly, Deuce, what stands out about Virginia Tech and what are going to be the keys for you guys defensively? Um, we just know they're going to run the ball. Like, you know, they love their running back. They're going to try to give him the ball 20, 30 times a game. And he's a Jersey guy, so we kind of know what he is and stuff like that. So we can't wait for the uh, for the competition. Another Jersey guy out there. I like it. They, they're everywhere when you talk about Syracuse football. So it should be a fun one on Saturday from the Dome. We appreciate Deuce Chestnut for his time. You can catch him on the field Saturday at noon.